7, the biggest space station in the universe. Ugh, what a dump. Can't even get decent proto champagne here. This place is useless. Pass your drinks either. Scotch noise, please. You know, my mum always told me that you can tell the character of a man by what he drinks. And that is a real man's drink. So, um, are you a real man? <sighs> well, ma'am, I'd like to think so. <laughs> oh, don't be so modest. I can tell the real thing when I see it. And I should know I'm married to a cheap copy. Well, that's too bad. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, look at me. All this wasted on less than half a man. Of course, it's loaded. I could have anything a girl could want. <laughs> well, almost. <laughs> Do you hear long? A little while. Get some parts for my ship. <laughs> How about you? Hmm. Old man's here on business. Can you believe he hauled my million dollar butt all the way over from Saturn City to look at some crappy old ship that he's just bought? <laughs> As if that's gonna impress me. <laughs> Play with you. It's my crew. Yeah, right. You'll have to excuse me, ma'am. Duty calls. Whiskey, no ice. So, how long have you two been here? Long enough to see you trying to get lucky with slutty face. Yes, I almost got myself in trouble there. So what about the spare parts? Oh, I don't know. Tomorrow, maybe? Oh, come on, I don't want to spend another day here. Why? There's plenty of things to see and people to do here. <laughs> Urgently request you return to the tulip immediately. We have unscheduled visitors on board. What kind of unscheduled visitors? No, no, don't touch that. We better get back. You're gonna have to hurry up if you want to make those completion bonuses. Harry, how are you doing? No, looking very good. I think we're gonna be cash flow positive by the second quarter. Who the hell are you? What are you doing on my ship? Uh, I'll be within a minute, Admiral. Hey, 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 be careful with that. Cost me more than the bloody ship did. <laughs> yeah, Harry, what have I told you? Don't worry about the prison ball. I've got my man in there. Hey, 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 what happened to my AI? What the hell are you doing on my ship, buddy? Oh. Hey. I asked you what you're doing on my ship, pal. Harry, I'm going to have to get back to you, so let's just come up. You must be dancing Montana. You got that right. Yeah, I've heard a lot about you from Rodolfo. <laughs> I don't believe a word of it. Now, look, how much do you want to come and work for me? Name your salary. What? I'm talking about a career move. I mean, you don't want to be a two-bob bounty hunter all your life, do you? I'm offering you a ground floor opportunity with Supermax Corrections. We're a young but uh, very aggressive player in the private prisons business. Rudolfo sold you the tulip? Oh, you catch on quick. Here, sign that. 
you have to be owed and bonded to work for me. I mean, I trust you completely, but my legal people sweat the small details. You can either come over with the crew to Supermax Corrections, or you can take the severance pay that Rodolfo was offering, and frankly, it's an insult. If I was you, I'd jump at the opportunity, become part of the Supermax vision, part of the Supermax team, and we're going to be number one in the marketplace. A few guys, well, that means stock options, private benefits, fast-track career moves, and for you, I'm offering you the number one position on the Tulip once she's renovated. Warden, Montana. Like the sound of that? Prison ship? Oh, hold that thought. Got to take this call. Hiya. Yeah, how you doing? Do you know what he's done? This is utterly insane. Rodolfo sold it right out from under us. Well, don't worry. He can't do that. No, technically he can. Legally, he owns the tulip. Oh, what are we going to do? Get car back online. Let's start there. Let's get to the bridge. Incoming transmission from Rodolfo. I hope you get this message before you do anything stupid, Montana. I've sold the tulip to Supermax Corrections, Inc. The new hot-shot prison outfit. Yeah, I know. Thanks for telling us. It's just business, Montana. What you were paying to lease the ship was peanuts compared to what they offered. And you know me. Can't pass up a good deal, right? Or a bad one. Now listen, Dante. Max has big plans for the ship. And if you play your cards right, it'll be good to you. You'll have a chance to make something of yourself. I'm gonna have to take his life. Well, it looks like this Max guy really does hold the title to the tulip. It's all legal and binding. He can't. I need this ship. I'll contact the Orchard first chance. I'm sure they'll help. Dante, Dante. Cheer up. This is not the end of your dream. This is the beginning of a much bigger dream. It's huge. Hey. Don't worry, little girl. I, I know what I'm doing. Installation complete. Conducting full audit of ship's operations. Reporting gross errors and inefficiencies. Costs can be cut by 60, 70% by end of fiscal year. What the hell did you do to him? He's my fiscal engineer. That's disgusting. <laughs> Imagine the impact he's going to have on the bottom line. I mean, you've been running this thing into the red, Dante. Not your fault. You don't have a head for business, obviously. But at Supermax Corrections, we believe in putting a round peg into a round hole. That's why I'm sure you'll make a terrific warden. I'm not a goddamn prison guard. How about a little incentive for, say, a thousand credits as a signing on bonus? Look, I don't care what those papers said. This is my ship. And you're out of here, pal. You're making a big mistake. Look, I could have my people come down here and clear you out, but I, I give you the courtesy of coming down here personally and offering you a future with Supermax Corrections. And, well, your response is highly unspecial. And I strongly no, recommend no, that you no, 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 no. Budget control. This delay is costing us 5,000 credits per standard solar minute. Percy, dump that bean counter and get car back, please. Not making a very good impression on your new employer. Tell these people to pack up and clear out. The job's canceled. Get out. Get off my ship. Go. Go. All right, all right. Do as he says. That's an order. Nancy, you just got to get... Prepare for manual disengagement. Daddy, you just got to get used to the idea you're working for me now. Reno 7, request flight clearance. Warning, you are committing a code 4 property crime. Shut up. The tulip is under a no-go order issued by the new owner, Supermax Corrections Incorporated. Screw it, we're going anyway. Press release magnetic coupling. Uh, I can't, we're locked in. Maneuvering rockets on low power, maybe? I don't think that's a good idea. Any thoughts? Let's record a transmission to that scum sucker, Rudolfo, please. Go ahead. Rudolfo, I still have six months on the lease of this ship, and you are legally bound to honor that contract. You're not going to get away with this crap. End transmission, please. That was beautifully put, Uncle. I think so. Station ordering all non-essential life support systems down. Ain't this a kick in the head? Yeah. We're always looking for people. People who want to share the Supermax vision. Max, you take this ship out without me and I'll kill you. I think the gentleman's threatening me. Uh, oh, and by the way, Dante, I don't want you on my team. In fact, you're lucky I don't have you arrested. Yeah, I feel real lucky, Max. You're the one that made this personal, not me. Come on, boys. We've got to be inmate ready in a couple of days.
Hello? Newcraft City? What do you have for under 50K? You want that with an engine, pal? But well, what about that line of credit in my business account? I'm sorry, sir. That account has been terminated. Damn it. Yes. I'd like to inquire about purchasing a bounty hunting license. I can put you on a waiting list. No, I don't have time for that. How about a temporary one? Are you kidding? You have a better chance of getting a new Mars City cab license. Thanks for nothing. What are you doing? We've been ordered off the ship. <laughs> We're not going anywhere. What do you mean? You have a plan? Well, yeah. I think what we need is a technical accident. A big technical accident that will take a long time to fix. A technical accident? As in stall for time and hit him in the wallet. I get it. Make Max think twice about his investment. Exactly. And while you're arranging this little disaster, Luke and I will pretend to play ball with Max and go to work for him, OK? Yeah. How hard could that be? I'm already pretending to work for you. Excuse me? May I have a moment of your time, sir? Take it easy. I just want to apologize for my behavior earlier. But come on, Max. You got to understand. A stranger comes on your ship, you defend your ship. It wasn't a personal issue with us. And I realize that you are now the legal owner of the Tulip. I got to accept your authority, which I do. I also want you to know that we reconsidered the offer you made to give me and my crew jobs. You're absolutely right. I was born and raised to be a prison warden. Now, Luke here has had extensive military training, so we know how to handle criminals. You'd be a big asset, Max, and I speak on behalf of the entire crew. We want to be a part of the Super Max Corrections Team. Really? With my military background, I know a well-run operation when I see one, and this one is very, very impressive. Well, at Supermax, we try harder. Of oh, course, it shows. So, what do you say, Max? I mean, we could be very useful to you in refitting the ship. We know every inch of her, and we can help save you time and trouble. Not to mention credits. Well, if you're sincere about joining Supermax, and I think you are, welcome to the team. Fantastic, Max. You will not regret this. I guarantee it. Welcome aboard. There's just one thing about your niece, sir. I don't think I can use her as a guard. Oh, you know what? She'd be really good at maintenance. Engineering? No, no, no. Janitorial. Oh, right. Well, we at Supermax like to take care of our people and their dependents. We value our employees like family. <laughs> nice cage. Working golden time, eh, guys? Ain't no golden time, honey. We got a schedule to meet. What a cute little console. It's preset at the factory. We just do the installation. Right. Contractor lowballed the two circuits. Ciao. 22 high-risk convicts who will serve the remainder of their time on the Supermax Corrections facility at a cost of 37,000 credits per head per hour. Oh, sorry, Dante, but uh, as the uh, CEO of this operation, I, uh, I get to claim the big chair whenever I'm on board. But uh, hey, you're welcome to any other time, big guy. Yeah, sure, boss, whatever you say. <laughs> OK, well, we're scheduled to pick up the first load of convicts tomorrow, 1,800 hours. If we're late, penalty clauses kick in. So let's uh, hit the gas, people. Bloody hell, Max. Is this thing actually going to fly? Uh, Dante, Luke. Meet my lovely wife, Zelda. Oh! <laughs> and I thought you were here just for parts. Funny, so did I. You two know each other? Yep. But they stayed on from the old crew, and, uh, honey, they've got the vision, the Team Max vision. Oh, he's got one trap mind. Oh, it's the wrong trap. <laughs> now, sweetie, that's not true. <laughs> wow. Love the uniform, don't they? Then again, I've got a real thing about uniforms. They're like an aphrodisiac for me. Isn't that right, Max? <laughs> Why don't you um, get settled in our quarters, uh, honey, and I'll, I'll be along as soon as this thing's in the air. OK. I hope this thing can achieve lift up faster than this new owner can. Uh, why don't we all get together later this evening, you know, to build Team Supermax spirit by getting to know each other? All right, what it means is let's get drunk together. No, that's not what I mean. Why don't we meet for dinner? In the galley, I'll get our cook to prepare something. Your cook? Oh, yes, sweetie. Never leave home without one. Always oh, nice to have a good feast inside you to keep a girl happy. <laughs> nice girl. Balance grid. Yeah. But 
bye Chef is a wizard with the old proto protein, isn't he, honey? Mm-hmm. You know, this is great that we're all bonded together on a like, human level so we can work towards our corporate goals. Honey, could you pass another bottle? We seem to be running dry. Mm, sure. <coughs> now, I can't remember the last time I had real champagne. <coughs> she lost Kletcher. Only the best days, Zelda. Mm. From your private cellar? Yeah, of course. Zelda never goes away from home without that either, do you, darling? <laughs> anyway, I think I was saying about the prison business being a people business. Talking of people, um, you two together? No. Oh. Yes. You know, not exactly. Um, you know, when people work together and, and, and live together. Sometimes it can get to be too much togetherness. <laughs> Familiarity breeds contempt. You can say that again. I wouldn't exactly call it contempt, would you, dear? No. Sweet Tums, not exactly. You know, I think we can use their organic link in the new setup. I mean, you've got Dante, Chief Warden, Luke, Sergeant of the A-Team ship. I mean, it's perfect. We save on a training and recruitment costs, and we get loyalty thrown in at a discount. <laughs> it's a win-win deal all the way around. Max, thought this evening was about getting to know the new people. So, Dante, Max tells me you're a bounty hunter. That sounds exciting. Used to be a bounty hunter, darling. I mean, they work for me now. Talking of work... Oh. God's sake, don't you ever get sick and tired of the sound of your own voice, or we're gonna have to listen to your goddamn sales pitching all night. So, bounty hunting. It's a dangerous business. Do you like danger, Dante? Well, actually, I was just looking for a job where the customer is always wrong. <laughs> <laughs> But Luke here was with the Authority Special Forces Black Operations. Now, that's yeah, dangerous. Yes, yes, I was with the Special Forces. I that's was fascinating. Oh, looking out for criminals, righting wrongs. Oh, my God, you're amazing. Oh, God, indeed he is. <clears throat> Actually, bounty hunting isn't all that romantic. Yeah, it takes All that so. running around, you know, following false leads, a lot of wasted time for no return. Yeah, bounty hunting is a, it's a low-profit business. I mean, it's got small margins. So it's a service industry, but now we're corrections, and that's got a much bigger markup. Of course, you need the initial investment to get into the business in the first place. You know, that's the important thing, having that capital investment. Max, is it always about money with you? Well, it has to be, doesn't it, the way you keep spending it? Mr. Bounty Hunter. I used to be a dancer. Really? What kind? The kind that picks up tips. Very exotic. Very athletic, huh. if you know what I mean. You can say that again. When I first met her, she was working the sleaze circuit around Saturn City. Actually, I was working my way through school. I had big plans before I met you. Until I dragged you out of the gutter. Max, you were nothing till you met me. You were selling bootleg computer chips for chump change. Oh, it's always about Max, isn't it? Ooh, the big, ooh, the big businessman. He always treats me like I've got no brain. I'm more than just a body, you know. I have knees that go beyond the mere physical. Oh, so it's mental stimulation that rugby team was giving you, was it? Shut up, Max! Come on, Zelda, we're all tired here. If you were more of a man, you'd know how I feel. Oh, no, Zelda. Well, how would you feel if your husband couldn't get it up for years? <laughs> years? Don't let it get to you, boss. She's drinking. Oh! It's easy for you to say. Oh, poor thing. I've got a good chick on her. Yes! About a cigar, boss. Oops. 
bloody men. Come in. Hmm. What do you want? Um, you seemed very upset back there, so I thought maybe you would like to talk, you know, like friends. I'll get over it. Okay. Stay strong. Sweetheart, can I give you a word of advice? Yeah, sure, sure. It's just that you don't look like you're satisfying your man, so, um, if you don't, I will. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you don't understand at all the thing about me and Dante. Yeah, whatever. Get out. No, you get out. Bit. But out. Um... We'll get out of this little episode, Zelda and me. We always do. She's the uh, only thing that keeps me human. I see what you mean. She seems like a very talented girl. She's a real beaut. And she's sharp as a whip. Very easy on the eye. You're all right, Montana. Company called Supermax Corrections has taken over the ship. Check it out for me. And also, do a background check on the CEO and his wife. End transmission. Hang tight, car. It's just me. Security breach. Shh. Authorized personnel only permitted on the bridge. Oh, the betrayal. Access denied. I repeat, access denied. Access, thank you for helping Supermax achieve its goals. Access. I believe I'll go and check on the crew. Who is Supermax? See how the renovations are going on. See these doors? Yeah. Titanium. Oh, yeah. Is that important? Much stronger than composite, I'll tell you that. Yeah. Good to have you back, Carr. So if I had two more ships in my fleet, I reckon I'd be out of retire in five years. Montana, what's that? Well, I don't know. Engine room reports, reactor one down. Magnetic fuel containment has failed. Major damage to the coolant system. Well, how much damage? I mean, what's it going to cost? Unable to assess cost analysis. The ship's a piece of crap. It always has been. All right, all right, Wolf. Whatever the problem is, find a solution fast. We're behind schedule. Hey, boss, we don't have the equipment to fix a reactor failure. We gotta go back to Reno 7 for that kind of work. Sorry. I regret to confirm this prognosis. It's the only option if we wish to fulfill the contract. All right, turn the ship around. I'll do it right away. I'll be on the bridge. to know anything about a magnetic containment failure in the number one reactor, would you? Nope. <laughs> I don't think so. Keep on cleaning. You don't know anything about a digital tapeworm in the prison control center either, sexy vest. Of course you don't. Oh, good day. Where's Max? Shuttle Bay. Good. So, uh, Dante, I was, um, wondering... What would you do if, um, you had all of Max's money? Well, Zelda, what I want, money can't buy. Oh, you mean the love of a good woman? Someone a little warmer than your icy soul to go, right? Luke? Yeah, whatever. So... Okay, Zelda, come on. What are you really after? Look, Dante, you might be fooling Max with your stupid little male bonding app, but you're not fooling me. Just want to get your shit back, right? Mm-hmm. Well, I can help you. How's that? I have, um, resources, let's say. I could buy this dump for you. You just get me out of here and you get me away from Max. You be good to me and I'll be good to you. And I make that a promise, baby. So, um, you think about it, yeah? But don't think about it too long. <laughs> so you have that part? Yes, sir. Great. I'll take it. As a matter of fact, I'll take three. That'll be costly. Yeah, I know how much they cost, and I said I'll take three of the most expensive ones you've got. Yes, sir. Invoice Supermax Corrections. Thank you very much. Orchard just checked them out, and bankruptcy is imminent. Apparently, Max expanded too fast, and now he's in debt in a big way. And his creditors want their money yesterday. No wonder he's cutting costs, the little rat. Dangerous thing to do in prison business. 
Oh, huh? good. Do you want a drink? Oh, I'd love one, yeah. I wasn't talking to you. Move that. See you back on the ship. Oh, yeah. Hmm. So, uh, you thought about it? You gonna get me away from Max? I've been thinking about it a lot, Zelda. I knew you would. It's us. Just think about it, Dante. You and me in our own little ship, traveling across the universe, hunting down baddies with a big gun, <laughs> cuddling up together on those cold, long nights. So how are you gonna get rid of Max? Zelda, I've got to be clear on a couple of issues before I make a plan. Huh? I want some kind of assurance that buying the ship isn't going to be a problem. Ah, uh, give me money. I'll get you. How much are we talking about? Don't you worry about it. I've got a few credits stashed away. And if I divorce Max, I get half the company. And if Max disappears, I get the whole lot. You know, I heard a rumor that Super Max Corrections was in trouble. A load of crap. Why'd you hear that? I'm a bounty hunter. I have resources. Yeah, well, don't you worry about it. Max is loaded. How else do you think he can afford me? Captain Montana, please return to the ship. Repairs are complete and we are ready for departure. Gotta go. We'll carry this on later. So, boss, we're a little behind schedule on repairs, a little over budget, but hey, we are on our way. Five hours behind schedule, 40% over budget. You call that a little? Zero, 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 one. One, zero, 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 one. Now this AI is having software problems. That is too bad. To be honest, I'm beginning to find all these system failures a, a bit of a coincidence. What about you, Montana? You know, I talked to Rodolfo about that. This is an old ship and it just keeps breaking down. You don't think somebody's trying to sabotage this ship here? Like you? What? Why would I sabotage my future with Supermax? I get paid twice what I made as a bounty hunter. I've got my eye on you. I got nothing to hide, boss. By the way, have you uh, seen my wife lately? Uh, earlier, on her way to her quarters. I've checked that already. Check again? I know. Got your eyes on me. Look where you're going. Captain, I urgently request you order Percy to undo what she did. Well, Car, you're back. How nice. She bypassed my truthfulness matrix and programmed me to deceive Max and other non crew members until further notice. That person never lets me down. But listen, Car, we gotta maintain this deception a little bit longer, okay? Mmm. Very nice. Very tasty. Well, a lot of good it's gonna do me. Oh, don't be like that, honey. Why can't we be like we used to be? Remember how we used to be? Well, before you became the three second wonder. You in trouble, Max? What do you mean trouble? Money, Max, money. Dante says he's heard some rumors. So it is true. I've got a bit of a cash flow problem. You know, it happens. So you haven't got any money? It's always money with you, isn't it? <laughs> well, I certainly didn't marry you for your looks or your talent in the bedroom. OK, deal him up. Hey, do me in, fellas. Two credits to Auntie. Two? Hey, how about that boss's wife, huh? She's a piece of work. A real looker, don't you think? You got to be kidding. You know the bitch is crazy. A while back, she wanted me to kill her husband for her. <laughs> You're kidding. Straight up. Give me two. And four, and three, and Two and a one. Lockdown failure. What the hell? Do you think it's a drill? Goddamn piece of shit. Lockdown failure. Zero, zero, zero. Good thing this happened before we took the lifers on, huh? Better check the cells. I've got a full house. Come on. What's going on here? I don't know, boss. Did you schedule a drill or something? They make control software still has a few bugs. We can't take any violent criminals out of the lockdown systems offline. I can't afford this. 
We're gonna have to go back to Reno 7 and do a full systems review. No, 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 no. We're going into transit camp to pick up the convicts. You do what you can to sort out the system, but no more delays. Uh, I don't know about that, boss. I don't feel too comfortable about it. How about you? Well, I don't give a damn about your comfort levels. We're going in. Guess I better talk to him. Well, where's his tapeworm just barred home? There's no way the prison authority will let Max take on these killer cons with a lockdown system out. We are going to bleed him dry. I talked to the orchard. They're going to have the banks call in his loan. Better yet, by the time we're done with Max, he's going to pay us to take the ship back. Well, what do you mean you're calling in the loan? I'm sorry, sir. Your payments have been delinquent. I, I've been doing business with First Saturn for years. I just don't want to put my little late. Sir, your loan has been in arrears for over 12 months. You missed 12 or 15 payments and suddenly you're some bum on the street. Montana's behind this. Okay, go to manual. That'll be good enough to keep the cons in stir for about eight hours. Go, go, go! Hey, you, Blinky. Get me the warden at Transit Camp 101. We're going in. Here. A girl can get lonely a million miles away from home. What's the matter, sweetie? You've been ignoring me lately. Come on, put some clothes on for crying out loud. What's the matter with you? I just can't help myself, Dante. Oh, I want you so bad. Yeah, well, you get the wrong man. Listen, sweetie, we had a deal. You get rid of Max, and I buy the ship for you. Let me tell you something, sweetie. Your little Maxie's up to his motor mouth in debt. He doesn't have a dime to give you, even if he does disappear. Oh, but I can make you so happy, Dante. I'm not interested, okay? Oh, kiss me! I don't make a fool of yourself, Sal. Don't speak to me like that! You're crazy! You're a dead man! Max, you're trying to rape me! Max, you're trying to rape me! Nothing happened! Take him out! I knew he was trouble. Oh, Max, you were terrible! Approaching Transit Camp 101, Authority, Department of Corrections. All unauthorized personnel turn back now. 10-4, manual overrides in place. Ooh. We're secure. Ooh. Code green. Yeah. You know I didn't do anything to sell her. You know she's nuts. Get me out of here. Sorry, man. No can do. I used to work for Supermax. And besides... I'm getting paid triple time to keep an eye on you. <laughs> it was awful! <laughs> it was awful! He dragged me into his room. He came in and he attacked me. <laughs> it's bad news, honey. They all are. They've been trying to screw us since the first day we got it. Well, that's it. No more Mr. Nice Guy. What are you going to do to Montana? I don't know. But as far as I'm concerned, he's a criminal, and he should be punished. What do you think I should do? I don't know. Kill him. Honey, don't you think that's a bit extreme? After what he did to me, don't you think he deserves to die? If you were a real man, you'd make him pay for what he did to me. All right, honey. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Address, you're under arrest. For what? We'll think of something. Which person? I don't know. Ah, Montana! You look right at home in there. For Christ's sake, Max, she's lying. She set me up. Shut up. This is false imprisonment. You're lucky I just don't kill you now. But I'm not like you, Montana. I'm a civilized man. So I'm just going to leave you to rot in here until I decide to hand you over to the authorities. Well, why do you like Luke up? She didn't do anything. She's a saboteur. Her and that little niece of yours, the baby genius. When did I get my hands on her? She's cost me a bundle. You lay one finger on her and I'll kill you, you son of a bitch. Don't you threaten me. You should have thought about that before you attacked my poor Zelda. I didn't attack her. Nearing transit camp. Controller is requesting docking protocol. Got some company for you. Scum of the universe. 
Just like you. Gotta get out of here before the ship docks. This is Supermax Corrections Incorporated, requesting permission to dock with Transit Camp 101. Oh yeah, Supermax. This is 101 Control. Stand by. We have a bit of a situation here. Code blue. 101, you're in riot mode. Confirm. Roger that. The boys in D-Block decided to throw a little fit. Just stand by. We'll bring you in when we can. Friendly warning. These guys are pretty high maintenance. Check. Our facility is totally up to authority specification for maximum security inmate control. 100%. Okay, Max. Hang loose. We'll get you your cargo as soon as we've got them under control. Thanks, Harry. And, uh, go get your car. Well, you heard him. Right, boss. We should run a test on our emergency backup procedure on our new prisoners, Dante and his friends, all the way. But you know what I mean? But the... Just do it! What the hell are you doing? Been a real man. That's what you wanted, isn't it? Well, isn't this a fine state of affairs? Clark, get us out of here! <coughs> I'm having some trouble with the locks. They <coughs> reprogrammed the codes. It might take a minute. We don't have a minute! You idiot! But sweetheart, you said I should kill him! Well, you didn't think I meant it, did you? Max, do something. But it's too late. Hey, but don't worry, it looked like an accident. Faulty technology! Faulty? Yeah, well, I had a good teacher. And the stun was your idea, you remember? I was moaning about the low ball rates I was getting for wires and the cons, and you said to me, Max, why don't you just kill him and keep the money? And I didn't mean it that time either. And I'm thinking, the woman's a bleeding genius. Now I remember why I married her. Stop that. Hold on, Captain. I think I've got it. What's his step? Come on, come on. Hurry up. Oh. Huh? you are great. But give me the gun, please. Oh, come on. I'm a hero. Let's go. Damn. You are one lucky moron, Max. Boys, we have a breakout. Use lethal force to subdue escaped prisoners. Max, leave it already. What's the matter, baby? I'm just acting like a real man, just like you wanted. Oh, that is lovely, that is. Oh, I knew you'd find some way to blame me for all of this, you weak, pathetic bastards. Weak? Me? Yes, you are weak. Pathetic, yeah, you can't really find the words to say, can you? Oh, that was too easy. Come on. Face down, on the floor, let's go. Come on. Look, toss these idiots in a holding cell. First, you're gonna have to do something about that lock, okay? I know. Where are you going? I wouldn't give Max my resignation in person. I always knew it would come to this. You were nothing but a two-bit crook and a stupid one to boot. I can't believe you thought I actually wanted you to kill someone. But you Since said... when do you listen to what I say? Hello? Hey, don't you make the perfect couple. Oh, Dante. Oh, thank God you're all right. <gasps> Drop the gun, or I really will shoot you, boy toy. Oh, please. Uh, I mean it, Zelda. You pushed me too far this time. I'm going to show you who's boss. You haven't got the balls. There you go. Keep yapping and we'll see. You are nothing but a weak, pathetic, useless bastard. Live with uh, it. Again, I'm warning you, Zelda. Don't keep pushing me. Don't keep pushing if me. If you were more of a man, I wouldn't have to push. I've given you everything you want, haven't I? Yes, except for the one thing I actually need. What do you want from me, Zelda? Nothing. You're nothing but a great big oh. <gasps> You bastard. What have you done to my Maxi? Maxie, baby, you all right? I'm sorry, Zelda. I'm sorry too, baby. Come on, that's enough. Come on. Whenever you're ready, okay? Welcome to our joint, Max. Not very high tech, but we like it. I suppose a bribe is out of the question. That's right. 
However, there's no extra charge for the honeymoon suite. I never really wanted you, Montana. I never really wanted you either, Zelda. Liar. Car, set a course for Reno 7. Drop them off there, let the authority deal with them. Aye, aye, Captain. I suppose a bribe is out of the question. Yeah, you got any better ideas? Oh, you shut sitting up, Maggie, it's so stupid. You always do everything to me. Just, just shut up. It's your fault we're in this predicament. No, it's not. It's your fault. See the world. What's up, Supermax? I thought we had a deal. Aren't you going to pick up these lifers? We've got the riot under control. I'm sorry, sir. We're no longer in the prison business. Over and out. Don't look at this as a, as a problem. View it as an opportunity. Shut up! 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 Shut